Hello, hello, hello! I'm back playing another game from Steam, and this time it's Haven Dock. It's a town building sim with some resource management thrown in. So I feel like it's a mix of something like Townscaper and Raft. So let's just jump in and let's check this game out. Press play. Also in the settings, you can choose whether or not you want the villagers to be able to die if they're hungry or thirsty for too long. I put that on, and then there's another option to let them speak broken English for some reason, which I find hilarious. I left that off. Let's have my settlers of course be lady and i am a female and that is me that does <laughs> those eyes don't go with that mouth all right let's leave it like that because i look like a right creep i can be a perfectionist who likes to make sure everything's exactly as i like it they have no gameplay effects even if they sound like they do so then why would i do this can foim look at those juicy birds wake up in a daze on a small sandbank You appear to be stranded in the middle of the ocean. You find some wood to build a makeshift deck using rocks as tools. Mm-hmm. Looks like you have to build more decks. Damn, I thought she was just doing pull-ups. <laughs> I was like, she's getting hench for the journey ahead. No recollection of how you got here, but you must find a way to survive. And pray others will find you. Okay. Cool. For the type of game this is, it didn't really need that part. But thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I can't use my controller. So I move with Wast. That's fine. Okay. Um, to orbit the camera or hold the middle mouse button. Oh, the middle mouse button. That's fine. Ah. I like that you just left click and it's very responsive and fast. And I like that, that you can tell already it's going to be too far because the line's not green. Shortcut one. What am I building? Decks. Okay. So let's build a deck. I want to go towards that. So let's build here. Give me that. All right, build a pump. It produces seawater. Let's me manually collect seawater from the ocean. Should not be drunk. Okay. I was going to say, like, it's not... I don't need anything to produce seawater. It's all around me, but it just collects it is what they mean. Water's too deep. Build a bridge here instead. Oh, okay. That's why that's like that. Come on. Oh, give me that one. Oh, give me that one. Give me that. Control click to take resources. Oh, I don't like, okay, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> no problem. I would rather right click, but what does right click do? Let's you manually click, uh-huh, output. Click to take out, shift click to take out all, and then pump. All right, cool. So I'm into this so far. I like stuff like this. It's really funny to me how much of the world is just grossly overworked. And yet we find something satisfying about playing games where you also work. All right, inventory is F, weird. I've got seeds. What, teriyaki, hell yes. I don't like the fact that if I right click on this, it opens that, but if I right click, it doesn't close it. That's just a pet peeve for me in games. Just let me do the same thing with the same button. What is this? This looks like something I should be able to collect. Like that looks like ore. Does it not? Boop. Oh, I got some ore. Yes. Oh, this is bad though. Cause this is like one of those games that I could just play forever. And it did say in the main menu there that they have an experimental multiplayer mode, which means that at some point you'll be able to play, I'm hoping with other people online. If that's the case, oh my God, I am going to need to play this with someone. All right, now I've got to build a workshop. Okay. Well, first I want to build a bridge. How much did I need for that? I needed five and I have five. Oh, but it's like five each. Research agriculture. Yeah, this is just like raft. Only I like this better. All right, I want to research agriculture, please. And it costs water, okay. Research continues to run even if you leave the workshop. All right. Dope. I was really addicted to raft when it first came out. So the fact that this piggybacks off the mechanics of that whole genre means this is going to be very addictive, but I just can't wait until I've built out enough to actually have kind of a little pier, you know, that has villagers coming in and I get to have like a little restaurant stuff. Oh my God, guys, you think I'm not going to play the shit out of this? I am. 
All right, now I have to build a farm. Okay, so that looks like that's under two. Raw vegetables. Okay, and I need three sand. Well, I have that. Let's build it over here. Okay. Open the food tab and build two bird houses. A cozy house that attracts birds. It gets dirty with bird poop, but you could occasionally find seeds in the poop if you have bait. It oh, okay. Gross. I do like that you can rotate stuff after you've already placed it. You know, I have a lot of wood and I'm being very stingy with it for no reason. <laughs> so let's just build this whole thing out. Okay. There you go. Nice and thickums. Nice and thickums. How's the research going here? Charcoal. Okay, so I can make fire, so I can cook. Fertilizer. All right, let's do the fire first. I feel like that's more important. Oh, I need raw vegetables. All right. Looks like I can't do any of that yet. So what can I plant? I can plant lettuce. It gradually grows crops for you over time. I need seeds from birdhouses to plant crops. Okay. Why is water optional? Optional. Watering it makes grow. Oh, twice as fast. Well, I'll do that. I'll move that there. And look at that. I can just right click and I don't have to actually exit out of the other item to do that. That's a nice touch. I appreciate that, developers. And we're just going to get a lot. And get as much as we can. I have not been collecting resources, but it's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What the fuck? Uh, put out fire. Holy shit. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> that fish. You know what that fish looks like? As a kid, there was a little game. Basically, you had a little fishing rod and a thing had mechanical fish and then you would just catch them with a magnet. And I remember what I did is I was like, this would be more realistic if I put it in the bath with me, but the googly eye stickers on them peeled off. And because the water was distorting them, it was just a bunch of freaky eyes looking at me in the water and I freaked out. <laughs> Ah, to be a kid again. Collect. Nice. All right, research charcoal. So I can do that now? Yes, because I have... Why does it do that, though? It's like I open it and it opens here and then moves over here on its own. Why does it not open here? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's research that. Funny that like researching costs resources kind of related to it. Like, I don't know why I need a raw vegetable to learn about charcoal, but you know what? Game logic is fine logic. I am hard at work with my syrin beakers. I want the fiery thing to be as far away from other stuff as possible, or rather I'd like it to be near the water. So I'm assuming because this is very similar to Raft, though, again, not saying that to imply that it's derivative, like the fact that this has like the whole town building aspect to it makes this unique and refreshing. And it's ultimately what would keep me coming back to this. But just saying that, I feel like there's going to end up being a thing where maybe I can put out a net so that I can collect some resources automatically. Oh, also, let's continue building the bridge. Boom, boom. All right, I think I'm out of resources, but fine, we're getting closer. Cause I want them chickens, man. I'm coming for you chickens. I'm gonna have you with some goju jang. All right, collect the charcoal. Ready. Fine. I do like if I just have to, you know, remember in my mind, which is a sentence I said, which one is to collect and which one is to add. And then I could kind of do it mindlessly. You know, I don't have to think about it. Research. Great. Also, how do I make her drink the water? Because it looks like my hunger and my stuff is going down, but she has water. You know what I mean? Do I just click on it? Oh, I do. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, shit. Damn it. No! Uh, eh, 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 eh. Ha! You thought, but you were wrong. <laughs> I'm going to build like this. You know? I'm going to leave that open. Just because I want to, you know? No particular reason. I just think it's nice. I think it looks cute. 
There we go. Like, that looks pretty, doesn't it? To have this, like, open space. Ah. <sighs> All right, anyway, <laughs> back to the tutorial. I have to build a cookhouse. A snack stand. A simple place where settlers with less than 50 hunger can eat very basic foods. But the cookhouse, um, advised to build dining tables nearby. Oh, nice. Okay, let's put a little dining table here. Have my little settlers, they can kind of eat right there. And I do love this interface. I think it's nice and clean. It's very intuitive because that's really important in resource management games, especially ones where you don't have the option to use your gamepad, at least. I don't know if that's something they'll add uh, later on, but you need to be able to navigate easily and things need to be intuitive enough for you to just eventually remember and get used to the controls as opposed to it feeling like a puzzle in and of itself just to manage the actual game let alone the resources, you know? Almost there, chickens! <laughs> Almost there! You see this fire? Okay, let's build a cookhouse. Select teriyaki as the meal to cook. Man. Oh, this is so cute! Let's make that shit. Uh, cook. Oh, nice! Uh-oh, there's a crate. Is that a penguin? I'm sorry. What? There's a damn penguin! How did I not notice that? I'll tell you why I wasn't looking. Also, like Raft, the day-night cycle. I remember, man, kind of being in on that game early on when they were, like, talking to people about what they wanted to see in the game and watching them implement new things and how excited I was every time they did. Oh, research the pier. Yes, I could do that now. That time it opened up where I said it should, weird. Okay, man, I need raw meat in order to learn how to build a house. Let's build a water tank now. Let's research that now since I can. Build a pier near the sandy area, finally. Oh my God, it's my first settler. Actually, I'm sorry. I need to move this out of the way. <laughs> okay. Hello? Oh my god, I can talk to you. Hi. I didn't expect to see another survivor. And here I thought I'd be stuck talking to my volleyball for the rest of my life. I see you've been putting the wreckage to good use. Another survivor! I know. I thought I was the only one. Anyway, you're probably also wondering who I am. Just call me Alf. I've been sailing for days, but always end up back at the crash site. Yeah, so what is this about the crash site? Also, there's a lot happening in the distance back there. Join me. It looks like there isn't any space on board. I'll wait here until you've built a house. If you're wondering how to build a house, perhaps the workshop has answers. Listen, I, I'm all about it. I just need raw meat, okay? Don't talk to me about how to learn things, sir. I'm wondering what this crash is, and also... I want to now be able to get all the way there. Now that I know that there are like other things. I'm sorry, get to raw meat by growing burgers in the farm? How do I grow a burger? Cause I got news for you. Any burger you're growing ain't made of meat. How do I choose? Oh, and then I can cycle through buildings of that type. That's neat. How do I choose though? What kind of seed? I get. Oh God, did I not eat? Hold on. Uh, let's get that going. Let's pump up the jam again. Please don't set on fire. I'll be right with you, Alf. I just have to grow some burgers in the fucking ground. So I have to go to my inventory to eat stuff, right? So I already had, like I think, a bunch of teriyaki anyway. So let's get all my stuff up. Sir, I've been doing great things. You are so lucky to have found another survivor like me. You could have found a survivor who does nothing but cry in the fetal position, but I'm over here getting chickens. This chicken is happy and will lay eggs where there is food in the coop. What? Follow. Oh, like actually follow, as in I can follow that character. And then gift. The animal's already happy to be with you, does not need any gifts. Oh, that's sweet. All right, fine, I guess I won't kill you. Don't worry, little chickens. 
I was intent on killing you, but I will instead use you for your eggs, and I will try to make you comfortable while you do that. Oh, wait, no. How do I choose what to cook again? No, no, no. This is not... How do I choose what to cook? I don't remember. Excuse me. Can I not be struck by lightning? Please? Maybe I can build a lightning rod or something like that. Let's see what I can research. Um, with steel pans, meals no longer need water to cook. Oh. Okay, that's worth it. But now, how do I grow a burger in the farm? Let's just take a look at this. Change the produce. To make a burger, I need four seeds. Why are you coming down here? Huh? You coming down here for chickens? Chicken, chick, or peacock? <laughs> okay. I wonder what the peacock gives me. I guess feathers. Because that's all anybody cares about a peacock for. Penguin, do you have anything special that would warrant me coming over to you? Hello, Penguin! The penguin makes a strange noise. It looks aggressive and might attack you at any time. Feed it a fish. You watch eagerly as the penguin gobble a fish, but nothing exciting happened after that. You want to feed another one? Sure. The penguin tears the fish apart. You didn't expect it to be this gruesome. It coughs up some sand. Feed it again. Okay. Fine. I mean, like, I don't have a golden fish. So that goldfish is actually something... Like, not the goldfish, but the fish that's gold. I guess that is, like, something special. Oh, there's another settler over there! Okay. Let's build towards her. Oh, I didn't realize I could zoom in. <laughs> I look like such a creep. Wow. So let's build here. I'm coming to get you. Oh, it's probably deep again. So... Bridge. Bridge, bridge. Oh, shit. Don't worry. I'm coming for you. So if you see any seeds, I'd really appreciate it if you'd grab them for me. A uh, cozy house that attracts birds, it gets dirty with bird poop, but you can occasionally find seeds in the poop. I do like, too, that I can just leave the inventory on the screen there. So if there's a resource that I'm trying to get, I'll know when I get it. Ooh, I can make a grill. Hold on a second. Let's do that. Let's make, uh, cooked fish. Ooh, yeah, I want this golden fish. How's it too far? Oh, I got it! Okay, I'm gonna try to feed that to the penguin and see if that does something special. Hey, you want the golden fish? Oh, yes! Give me the poop! You somehow made the decision to scoop it up. Awesome! Okay, great. Now, what did I need the poop for? I needed it to research something. Fertilizer. Okay. All right, great. So now I have enough to at least build my way around to this one. So let's go ahead, build there. Wait, is this all deep water? No, it's not. That was weird because it looked like it turned yellow for a second and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hi. If you research flight and have supplies to spare, we might have a chance to get this ancient technology up and running again. Who knows what it does? We could leave here, or maybe we could go to find the origin. Ooh, the origin. Check supplies. Got it. Raw fish, optional. Oh yeah. Let's add raw fish here. Because then birds will come. I totally forgot about that. All right, so I added some raw fish in there and then hopefully output full. Collect and collect. Okay, get to make a burger. I need four seeds, so I need two more. Bum, 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 bum. I have to remember that it's telling me how much output there actually is that I can take. But anyway, now that I've got that, I can do my burgers. I love it so much. And you know what? I can build myself a shelter. Oh my God, please out the fire you okay 
for happiness. Oh, I can make a dance. I can make a dance floor a church or a firework launcher. You know, I mean, yeah, church does make some people happier. Not everyone. Decor. I mean, it protects nearby objects from lightning, but it's pretty big. I don't know where I want to put it. Oh, look at my burgers. They're growing so nicely. Sir, I will have a home for you soon. Just stop looking at me expectedly. Also, I do love the fact that there is lore here too. You know, that they're like, ooh, maybe we could find the origin and there was a crash. Even in a resource management game, I'd be interested to know what the hell's going on. All right, now I can research housing. Boom, boom. And I love that it shows the research progress. Okay. Now, oh, a little house. Okay, so we're not gonna do that there. Let's have housing be on this side. I think that's built out enough for now. So we'll build a house right there and right there. Add one living space for visitors to stay in your, okay, it can be stacked on top of another to form multiple stories. Oh, cool. I can make like a little apartment complex, but for right now, this will be the area for people who just want to live in like one house that's connected. Like these are town homes, you know? Let's go invite this dude. Hey fella, I do have a house. <laughs> awesome, I got a house. Your raft just left without you, buddy. So let's click on the tips to see how the UI looks for that. Oh, that's fantastic. You invited a settler to live on your settlement. Settlers work for you, carrying resources to where they need to be, such as carrying seeds from the birdhouse to plant farms. They can be manually assigned to work in facilities like the pump and cookhouse by selecting the facility. I saw that. Like you, they have hunger, thirst, and happiness, and they need a house to live in. As my settlement grows, they'll have needs, such as wanting a church, higher quality meals, and even entertainment. Nice. Can I talk to you, sir? Oh, he has PTSD. He's a survivor of the wreckage incident, referred to as DC-370. I really want to know what the deal is with this crash site. Can I talk to him? Hey, I know you expected some meaningful dialogue here, but they haven't written anything yet. Okay, no problem. Can I give him something? What are you going to gift? That piece of wood you're holding? No, it's going to... See, you have raw vegetables. It ain't useless, but not that Alf wants that disgusting thing. It's still dripping with farm soil. You try to gift your fish, but who wants a sticky fish? Bet you don't have a golden fish, do you? Oh, water. This settler could use a drink, but maybe from a water tank instead of from your dust-filled inventory. <laughs> wow, you have a cooked meal. They can use a meal, but not from you. They only trust food from cookhouses. Unlike you, they listen to their mummies. Don't accept gifts from strangers. What's wrong with you? Did you just try to give... Oh, God, that's hilarious. It's irritating. It gets everywhere. That's so funny. And you know what? Let me assign him to the pump. Perfect. Buddy, I'm gonna whip you up some teriyaki. Don't you worry about it. Gonna make sure you got something in your stomach good. All right, now also let me build a water tank because he did say that they're only gonna drink from that. Up to four people can drink there. Does it have a front or? No. Cool. I don't think I should. Yeah, I think that's weird for it to be like right there. Let's put it there. Okay. Let's put as much as I can. Oh, and that's a nice touch that you can actually see it filling up. Oh, shift click to insert the max. Great. Oh, another survivor. Hold on a second. Let's take this. Here you go, birds. What a hot day. Do you have any water? I'll come on board if you have eight. Yeah, ma'am. Oh, give me time. Jeez. So I don't have it in my inventory. What do I have? Oh yeah, I only have one. Okay, is he gonna eat the teriyaki? I made it for you since you didn't want my food. We can add a ground light there. Though that feels like a waste of space, but it's nice. Attempt to trap and disable live birds. Different baits attract different prey, producing different results. This flimsy trap has a 10% chance to fail. Produces feathers, raw meat. Well, let's see what happens. Let's put it right here for now. And 
let's use a berry. Buddy, what's wrong? He's tired. He needs to sleep on a rock. Oh, God. Research rocks. Oh, shit. I didn't do that. Sorry. Why are we going to sleep on rocks when I've collected leaves? Like, that's what we would be sleeping on. Don't you worry, buddy. I'm going to make sure you get some shut-eye. It's weird, though, because you have a house. You know what I mean? So, like, why am I building rocks? But whatever. Oh, what's over here? I didn't even notice this. Hold on. Shit. I don't have enough to get to that. Okay. Well, fine. Let's put the rock in the middle here. Okay. It's just a little bizarre, but fine. Actually, let's not put it there. Hey, where's he going? Oh, he's getting stuff from down there. Nice job, buddy. What else can I cook? I can make pasta? Do I have anything to make pasta? Chocolate. Medicine seems important. Herbs can be refined into medical supplements or decoratives. Where do I get herbs, though? Where'd he go? Is he sleeping? Oh, yeah, it looks like he slept. Okay. He's not very happy, though. What does he want? Well, you know what? Let's give him a dance floor. I want people to be able to see as they arrive that I have all of the things that they need. I have water, I have food, I have chicones, anything anybody could ever want. Oh, what did I get? I got a bone. Oh, he got the food. Oh, look at me eating. Can I sit with you? Oh, I thought we could, you know, get to know each other better, sir. It's pretty lonely out here, just saying. You know, the two of us might uh, want to get acquainted. <clears throat> He'll come around. I want to see what it looks like when he sleeps. I'm assuming that's where he's going. Oh, God. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> Now I have enough water, at least, to get this person to come on board. Yep. I know what I'm going to assign you to. I'm going to assign you to cooking. Now, what does Metallica have going for me? Metallica's thirsty. Great. Well, you do that. You can cook. Okay, I got some glass. Do I have enough glass for a dance floor? No. I'm three short. That's fine. All right, what else can I research in the meantime? Uh, ooh, scuba diving. Yes. All right, we'll build a scuba station here. And then I need a smelter. We're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Hello. I'm craving for a hot meal. I'll come on board if you can cook a nice meal for me. No problem. Oh, man, I'm getting all the settlers. I'm excited. Let's build a little home for you. That is so cute. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. I love it. Oh, can I actually just right click out of that menu? Hold on a second. Because if I can do that, that's fantastic. Instead of having to click escape. Let's see. Oh, I can. Okay, so that was my fault because I said when I first started this that I want to be able to use the same controls and I can. I can right click to get in it and to get out of it. I just have to right click away. Oh, he's sad. But don't worry, I have a cure. Oh, hell yeah. You guys feel happy now? Cool. Hello. They look like children down here. I'm famished. Do you happen to have any food? Yep. Come on. I'm loving this. I'm building up my little community. All right, now I need to build to the lighthouse, right? So, is that right? Smelt 10 steel from the smelter. Okay, no problem. Oh, I can repair it, I see. Oh, look, that's actually cool. Like having a really big water tank that leads directly to a water fountain. 
that's pretty neat, actually. Settler priorities? What does this do? Ah, so I like this. The fact that you can decide that, you know, you want somebody to not do something at all. That's fantastic. I think they've nailed all these underlying mechanics so far. Oh my god, I've been stuck at sea for days. Thought it was dead. Could I please come on board? Oh, of course. Boy, am I in need of your distiller. Sir, you're kind of cute. Just saying, I think you're going to be mine. Also, why is my head so much bigger than everybody else? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look at his moves. All right, sir. You were meant for me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Put this here. And we'll plop another one on top. Just in anticipation. Okay. Yep. What is going on? Why are they all... What? Oh, God. I haven't been drinking water. Or eating. <laughs> Look at how gingerly he's handling the seed. Yeah, that's my boyfriend. You know? What the hell? What a hot day. Do you have any water? You come aboard? Yeah. Give me time, you dirty liar. Listen, I just have to go get it, all right? Stop being so fucking dramatic. And you know what? We will assign somebody to cook because it looks like people might be getting hungry. Oh, you know, I don't like that his name is Big Mac, though. But because his name is Big Mac, he can be the one that cooks the food. What does this say? Looting stat for scavenging missions. Oh. Everybody's gonna pull their weight around here, okay? Yeah, you smelt, Katie. You smelt that ore. Hello? Yes, I do have the water for you. Okay. I don't know what the hell's going on with your head. Is it because they're hungry or something? I don't know. Now I can repair the lighthouse, though. I have everything I need to do it. Repair. You turn the lighthouse on and its light pierces the sky. In the distance, a small boat steers itself towards your lighthouse. Cool. Sup? Oh, climb. Okay, hold on a second. I want to talk to this person. Hey, nice settlement, but I'm not one to move in. I'm a scavenger of the sea. Are you wondering how to get more steel? Well, I have steel, but you're going to have to give me some valuables in return. How about we trade? Okay. Ooh, I would like some medicine. Value 30. Do I need a hammer? What good is it? With one iron ore instead of two? Okay. Well, how do you feel about bricks? No, they're not worth a lot. How do you feel about teriyaki? Oh, you like food, do you? Well, give me that. Yes. Dismiss. Thank you. Now, what is this about climbing the lighthouse? Oh. That's so cute. <gasps> There's a little, f like, a homestead over there. Oh, that was worth it. Because I didn't know. What? Are you back already? Get out of here. <laughs> cool, though. So now I have traders. I'm obsessed with this game. And uh, I will never stop playing it. What else can I research for houses, though? Oh, I can lock the bar. Research. Okay. Lighthouse range. I need more glass. So let's set this to glass. Okay. They're all tired. Ugh. How many people can sleep in one rock, though? Let me see. Upgrade to unlock. Adds props like a bench and mini treehouse. Okay. Oh, that's adorable. I want to rest. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, is that a penguin? <laughs> You were expecting a settler on a raft, but instead a penguin arrives. It makes noises as though asking for something, but without a zoologist, you can't understand what it wants. I can rescue a zoologist after I build a boat yard. Okay. Well, tell it to come back later. I'm out of sand. So let's switch this output over. I can dive myself. What does it look like if I do? I can't see. Okay. Nice. 
I find that more fun than actually clicking on the water in my inventory. Oh, someone's here. Hello. Craving a hot meal. Yep. Come on. Join us. Can I upgrade the homes? Um, I can enter the house. What does it look like? Oh, cute. Okay. Well, I got a little bit carried away and I've been playing for like two hours. <laughs> so I think I'm going to bring this to a close, but I just want you to see some of the things I've been doing. I've been building up their houses um, and you see that they're all tired. There was a little bit of an issue and I'll explain it in a second, but I was upgrading things like the cookhouse. Also, I've been upgrading some of these other things. I got a parrot. You can see there's a submarine here, so you can actually go down underwater and mine. A guy came that uh, is going to help me build a boat yard. So there is a lot going on in this game. I absolutely love it. If I didn't, I wouldn't have spent two hours playing it. <laughs> and that's just the demo. Like the demo has an end, you know, you build the submarine and that's technically it, but you can still keep playing. The issue that you're seeing here with everybody being kind of sleepy is the fact that if you hit escape, it takes you in into the menu. This is where you can save and everything. And I was actually able to save my game properly. And you can look at all of the other cool things it has here. It has stats. And I think it says it played for five hours, but I think I actually just forgot and left it running. It's got their updates listed here, which is fantastic. I think that's always great to have in a game. It's got a little bit about the game. And then you get into the stats about your little, you know, village, your little town that you're actually building. So you have the journal and here was the issue. Now, when you get here, it it says a settler break schedule, and this is similar to, I don't know why it just did that. You may or may not have seen what just happened, but it's similar to Two Point Academy, like the Two Point Games, Two Point Hospital, Two Point Academy now, where, you know, in order to make sure that the professors or students or whoever it is takes care of their needs, you can set a threshold that says, hey, if any of their needs drop below a certain percentage, then they'll go and take care of it. So when I started the demo, I hadn't looked at this, but I went in and I finally found all of this and I saw that the threshold was initially set to 10%. So I said, okay, well, let me raise that threshold so that they'll go and take care of their needs faster. And that seemed to have broken the game. It seemed to have bugged it out because once I touched it, it would not retain any setting that I put there. So you see how it just said 20, like when I clicked on it the first time and now it says zero. So what ended up happening was basically, if you look at what happens when it's, you know, zero, it says at zero, the settlers will just continue to work until all of their stats drop to zero. So they're basically going to work themselves to death, which I don't want. <laughs> but because it won't, you know, retain any of these other settings anymore, that's basically just what's been happening is that they just keep going and going and going and I can't do anything about it. So here you can see the overview of all the settlers and you can see all of their stuff. And then finally you have the thing for your character and oh, apparently I'm injured. Well, I guess I have to make some medicine, but I am definitely going to continue playing this because setting aside the fact that it still needs a lot of work, what they have here so far is freaking fantastic. You know, there are some weird graphical things, but I mean, the game is addictive. Like I said, I played it for like two hours straight. I was not intending to, you know, I was just gonna play through. Oh, I finished researching chickens, great. Um, <laughs> I was just gonna play it through to get the gist of it and I just could not stop. Like I absolutely love it that much. I highly recommend it. If you like Town Builders, if you like that game Raft, I think you will absolutely love this. And with them having a multiplayer component that will be coming at some point, right now it's experimental. Everything right now is not finished yet. This is not a finished game, but absolutely this is going to be one of those games that I think we should keep an eye on. And if you think I'm definitely one to keep an eye on, then go ahead, subscribe to my channel, support me on Patreon at the $1 tier or higher, and I'll be back very soon with another game from Steam.